she is a through room into my studio. So it's a good place for me to uh, relax, but it's not my, this is monkey, it's not my living area per se. The thing with um, living rooms and dens is they share the same philosophy. We want a space where it has to kind of double duty so many ways. We want a space where we can relax and I want a space where I can entertain and I feel stimulated but I also feel calm. So what I've done is uh, painted everything out in a kind of, um, it's quite an unusual colour, pinky brownie colour, it's called Crosby. And then I've put um, a lot of, with my dark palette, a lot of neutrals to kind of lift it. And uh, this has been a kind of a game-changing thing that I've done recently. I've introduced more and more neutral pieces. So I have a very long uh, table. Now, because most of our rooms happen to be rectangular or square, in order to make them wildly beautiful, circles are so important because it breaks up the, um, all the kind of grid-likeness of the room. So you'll see peppered throughout my space, um, there's curvaceous lamps, and there's curvaceous bowls, and there's round cushions, because circles help break up all the straight lines, so that's a bit of a game changer. Again, note the reduced palette. So I'm not using too many colours, and the, the reason I'm so obsessed with it, and the reason why it's given me such a beautiful interior, is because then I never have to ask myself, can I mix this with this? because I always can. Um, because when you restrict the palette, you never have to have that problem in your life. It makes mixing and designing eclect eclectic interiors so easy. Botanicals are huge to me. Uh, obviously, it's quite a major component of my business, but you'll see lots of botanicals taking the eye up. Remember, I in the hallway, I said about taking the eye up. So botanicals take the eye up. Pendants take the eye up. Eye takes the eye. Art takes the eye up. The thing with creating a space that you love is to always buy from the heart. So everything in this room has a story. I, for example, um, these rugs are our own design. This sculpture is ours. The paper mache bowls. Everything I've designed or found, but it literally you can almost see the marks of someone that's made them. And for me, I don't want perfect interiors. I need my interiors to feel incredibly relaxed, which is why I feel that when you're buying things from the heart, you'll get the signature style that no one else will, re re will replicate and it will just feel amazing. A checklist for dens. Biggest game-changing trick anyone can ever do is get the sofa off the wall and switch up the layout. Plonk a shelf, console, or small table behind the sofa and watch magic happen. Rearrange what's on the coffee table. It's such an easy trick. Make books part of your tablescape. Stacks always work. Then add botanicals, trailing ones, soften, the odd plant, and voila, nailed. Overdose on chairs and create little areas to plonk. Chairs are to interiors what shoes are to fashion. They make or break a space. They add such sass from laid back lounging type ones to concrete and vintage. Select soft furnishings in similar hues. Keeping them within a restrained palette will make your space feel so much more sophisticated.